We heading out? As you command, my Thane.
Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those up there. So I wouldn't go down there if I were you. We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is clear. to do better than that. I think we're getting close. Let's keep moving.
That's how it's done. Yeah, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Now let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Pressure plates. Be careful. Back safe now. Let's move. I think we must be close to the entrance. Remarkably well preserved. Ah, here's the blood seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Riemann Cyrodiil? It's coming to life.
Charles Bones, here it is. Aldrin's Wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a finer example of early second era Kaviri sculpture and relief. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Look, here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. All with defeat is the centerpiece. Now, you see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory. Mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history.
Wind, guide you. 
Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it, but I am not the one to speak of it to you. was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax.
path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will throw away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit.
Drem Yolok. Greetings, Hundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. Rotmulag waits. I had... So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, 
Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Yes and no, Vikhnuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlang, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. 
You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrothun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps, in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps, also uniquely vulnerable. I warn them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. 
But they did not trust us. Neov. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Look, Thum. You spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? And so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Perhaps not, but this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. 
If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. I'm not one for coming, Archmage or not. My rules about books still stand. <clears throat> and what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you? Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. All right, then. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. <clears throat> I don't care if you wrote it yourself. If you want a book from here, you go through me. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since.
When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the ma Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Ofthand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. 
delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Another of the smooth skins looking for food? And this one wasn't trapped with us. No. You picked a bad time to get lost. <laughs>
get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Uh, of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. Huh? Time to end this little day. <laughs>
I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Divine smile on you. My position. Well, we've come to the right place. I suppose I should return to my papers. In the top. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. The box contains the heart, ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora, 
I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening! Come closer, bask in my presence. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching. Most impressive. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Indeed, speak with me when the box has been opened, and all shall be revealed. of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay, Alduin will be coming, he cannot miss the signs. Wolf Akrin, die now in vain.
Akon! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours! Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Galthor, Sori, Birko. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no. I will not need we'll it. We'll deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Age and send you out. You are banished. All our endings until the last. You are banished. Worked. Did it. Yes. The world eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Yeah. 
You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Matmahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet. Pa. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Lok Thung, 